so hello, hello everyone today i'll be explaining uh, the old question paper from 2019 lda uh, treasures and accounts e exam which was held in december 2019 i'll be explaining the uh, numericals for 10 for 10 to 12 marks i'll be solving each and every question so let's get the video started so this question was asked in uh, 2019 LDA Treasuries Accounts uh, Department for the post of Junior Account Associate and Account Associate and LDA Post. So let's get the video started. The first question is Find the height of the cylinder whose radius is 7 cm and total surface area is 968 cm square. So they are telling to find the height of the cylinder and uh, the total surface area of the cylinder and radius is given so so radius is given and total surface area is given so we know that the formula of total surface area is 2 pi r h plus r and area is already 968 so put the formula 2 into 22 by 7 into uh, radius is 7 h h we have to find plus 7 is equal to 968 so um uh, getting the formula we get the answer as 15 centimeter so the answer is 15 centimeter next find out the smallest area by which 948 must be divided so that's to, so that the quotient is a perfect square so they are saying divide 408 by the numbers given in the four options and the quotient that is remaining that is if you divide by three you will get a uh, question some question so if we take if we take the perfect if we take the square of this it will come as perfect square so so 9408 if we take 3 you'll get 3 3 is a 9 4 3 1 is a 3 and remainder 1 0 3 3 is a 9 1 8 then 3 6 18 so the question is 3 1 3 6 so if we take the uh, square of 3 1 3 6 it will get 56 and you must be wondering how 3 1 3 6 square can be found so the squares can be easily found by taking lcm that is 2 2 1 2 2 5 to 10 2 1 2 2 8 to 16 like that so if we take the total lcm you'll get the answer as 56 so the answer is 3 because if you divide by 3 you'll get the question as you'll get the perfect square of 56 next simplify a square minus b square whole to the power square so don't get confused with this type of question because they are simply asking to find a minus b whole square formula that is take we already know that we already know that a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab so instead of a you take a square so a square to the power square plus b square to the power square minus 2a square b square so you'll get a4 plus b4 minus 2a square b square so the answer will be this a square minus 2 a square b square plus p4 next the area of the rhombus is 240 uh, centimeter square and one of the diagonals is 16 centimeter so find the other diagonal so what is rhombus a rhombus is a figure having equal diagonals and the formula for rhombus is all, always given as 1 by 2 into d1 into d2 this is the formula of rhombus so let's see what is the answer so the form the area of rhombus is 1 by 2 into d1 into d2 the area is already given as 240 uh, 240 uh, centimeter square so if we put 240 is equal to 1 by 2 and one of the diagonal is 16 and the other is d2 we don't know so if we simplify this you'll get the answer as 30 centimeter so the answer is 30 centimeters 
Next, the area of trapezium shaped field is 480 meter square and the distance between the two parallel sides is 15 meter. And one of the parallel sides is 20 meter. Find the other side. So, a trapezium is a figure in which one side is parallel and the other side is not parallel. Suppose you take this side as A, this side is B and this this distance between the two parallel lines is H. So the formula of a trapezium the formula of a trapezium will be given as 1 by 2 into A plus B into height. That is height is the distance between the two parallel figures. So area is already 480 1 by 2 A is one of the sides is 20 and the other side is we don't know b and the distance between the two sides is 15 so simplifying this uh, question you'll get the answer as 42 meter uh, 44 meter so the answer will be 44 meter next heptagon is a pol is a polygon which have uh, with the following sides so hepta uh, first is and the various number figures is named by different different names that is that is single is uh, by uh, the two is by try and four is quad five is uh, bent six is hexa and seven is also known as hepta and eight is octa 9 is nona and 10 is de deca also known as decagon so the figure with seven sides that is one two three four five six seven so the a figure with seven sides is also known as heptagon arjun is the next question the arjun is twice as old as soria five years ago his age was twice three times of Sharia age find their present ages so so if we solve this the question will be so the question is asking that Arjun is twice as old as Sharia so let the age of Ar uh, Arjun be 2x and Sharia be x and five years ago so if today is 2005 five years ago means it will be 2000 that means you subtract by 5 so subtract both the h by 5 that is 2x minus 5 and x minus 5 uh, 5 years ago Arjun's s was Arjun's h was twice the h of Shorya so you put 3 in the front of Shorya so you'll get 2x minus 5 is equal to 3 to the power x uh, true 3 bracket x minus 5 so simplifying this you'll get 2x minus 5 is equal to 3x minus 5 3 is a 15 so arranging the formula with replacing 2x minus 3x that is 2x uh, 3x will come in 2x and 5 will go there so it will be 2x minus 3x is equal to minus 15 if this minus will become plus and this plus will become minus here so if we get the formula the uh, the value of x is x is equal to 10 so substituting the value of x in arjun's h2 into x is the arjun h is 20 years and while as shara h is 10 years so the answer will be arjun will be 3x uh, arjun will be 20 years and Sharia will be 10 years. Devish Devishi has a total of 590 as currency not in the denomination of 50, 20 and 10. The ratio of the number of 50 notes and 20 notes are in the ratio of 3 is to 5. If she has a total of 25 notes, how many notes are there in each denomination? So Sharia has 500 rupees. 590 rupees and this has been divided into 50 rupees, 20 rupees and 10 rupees and the ratio of each 
currency is currency denomination is given 50 notes is given in the ratio of 3 to 5 that is 3 and the currency of 20 notes is given as 5 and it, total she has 25 notes so how many notes are there in each denom how many notes are of each denomination does it have so out of 25 you have to divide the 50 notes the 20 notes and the 10 notes each having different values into uh, 25 notes so how will we do this so first So the total is 590 and it is divided into 50, 20 and 10. So 50 notes is given in the ratio of 3x and 20 notes is given in the ratio of 5x. So remaining remaining 10 notes, we already know that the total notes is 25. So 25 minus this 3x and this 2x because we already know that 50, uh, that 50 rupees is equal to 3x and 20 rupees is equal to 5x so you'll get the value of 25 minus 8x so we have to find the value of the 50 notes the amount of 50 notes is 50 into 3 that is 50 rupees not uh, 50 rupees not into 3 times to this 150x similarly for 20 it will be 20 into 5x is 100x and for 10 we already find that 25 minus 8x so we will put the value is equal to 250 minus 80x so we already know this amount we, we just don't know the value of x so we'll uh, we will club up together as total 590 is equal to this 150 100 and 250 so the value will be 2 so substituting this value of 2 in each of the um, each of the value each of the answer here you will get s that is if, you, uh, if the value of x is 2 uh, for 50 rupees it will be 3x that is 50 into uh, 50 is equal to 3x that is 3 into 2 is 6 that is 50 rupees he has 6 knots and 20 rupees he has 5 into 2 10 knots and so remaining there are 25 knots so from 25 you, sub, you sub, subtract uh, 16 so you will get 9 so total 50 rupees will have 6 knots uh, 20 rupees will have 10 knots and the remaining 10 rupees will have 9 knots so together you will get the value of 590 rupees next an item is marked rupees rupees 840 and is sold as 714 rupees what is the discount percentage so suppose i bought a pen or uh, i put a table of rupees 840 now and i'm selling it for 714 so the the first price that is 840 will be the cost price because i bought it and 714 i am selling it to someone else so it will be selling price so they are telling us to find the uh, discount percentage so we already know that that cost price is 840 and selling price is 714 so discount will be the sales cost price that is 840 minus selling price 714 divided by cost price into 100 so 840 minus 714 will be 206 uh, 126 rupees divided by 840 into 100 so you'll get a discount percentage of 15 rupees so basically the formula is cost price minus selling price divided by cost price into 100 so you will get this 15% as the value of the 15% as the value of the cost price so a piece of rectangular a rectangular piece of paper 11 cm and 4 cm is folded without overlapping to make a cylinder 
of height 4 cm find the volume of the cylinder so they are saying is a, 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 a rectangular paper of 11 cm so this is 11 cm and this is 4 cm and it is folded without overlapping that is it is folded perfectly without without making any overlapping so if this is folded if this 11 is folded it will cover the circumference of the circle so let's uh, do it question number 10 so since the the rectangle uh, the rectangular figure is converted into cylinder since this is 11 and this is 4 the this height will be equal to this height so no problem this is the height of the cylinder and this this side has been has been converted into a circle so this will be equal to the circumference of the circle so we know that circumference of a circle is given as 2 pi r and the total length of the uh, rectangle is 11 so 11 so if we substitute this 11 is equal to 2 pi r so the the, vol the value of r will be 7 by 4 so putting this in the volume of cylinder pi r square h you will get the value of 77 by 2 so 77 by 2 if we take the l uh, value it is 2 3 is a 6 2 8 is a 16 so the answer will be 38.5 uh, so the answer will be 38.5 the internal measure of a cuboidal room is 12 into 8 into 4 centimeter find the cost of whitewashing all the four walls of a room if the cost of whitewashing is 5 rupees per meter square so a cuboidal room is like this whitewashing all the walls except for the floor so because the floor we do not uh, whitewash and the top floor we do not whitewash only the four walls of the cylinder uh cuboid so they are telling us to find how much cost will it take to whitewash everything so the the dimensions are going as length is equal to 12 meter breadth is equal to 8 meter and height is equal to 4 meter and the cost of whitewashing is per meter square is rupees 5 so the the process will be like this so the length is 12 and breadth is 8 and height is 4 so the cuboid volume is 2 length plus breadth plus breadth into height into length into height however since we are only whitewashing the walls not the roof so we'll ignore this roof so this roof will be length into breadth so this length into breadth will be straight off for for the two sides so the length into breadth will be removed only the length into height and breadth into height so the value the area will be 160 and multiplying 160 into 5 because for me 5 meters square the cost of the whitewashing is rupees 800 so the answer will be So the answer will be rupees 800. Find the measure x in the formula figure. So it is a property of a angle that in a straight line the total angle is 180 degrees. 80 degrees. So take this example. So So just see the figure in this is 110 this is 50 this is 90 and this they are telling us to find the value of x 
So, if we take the figure as this. So, suppose you take this side. So, the total side is 180 degrees. However, 110 is already given. So, minus 180 to 110, the 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 value of the angle will be 70 degrees similarly for this that is 50 so you subtract 180 minus 50 will be 130 so this is done similarly for this uh, similarly for this the total is 180 so 90 and 90 so inside will be 90 and it is a property of a triangle of a angle that the entire angle should be equal to value 360 so you add 130 170 uh, and 90 so the answer will come 290 so i have already told you that the total angle will be 360 so 360 minus 290 will be 70 that means the angle inside the uh, figure will be 70 however we we are interested in the outside so it will be 180 minus 70 so the answer will be 110 degree so the answer is 110 degrees So the answer will be 110. Identify a Pythagorean triplet whose smallest number is 8. So Pythagorean triplet is given by the formula uh, 2m, m square minus 1 and m square plus 1. So we need to find the value of m. So the smallest number is 8. So 2m is equal to 8 m will be equal to 4 so the value of m is 4 so put this in m square minus 1 so 4 square minus 1 that is 16 minus 1 15 and here m square that is 4 square 16 plus 1 17 and 8 so the the triplet will be 8 15 and 17 so the answer will be 8 15 and 17 so this is the answer Next, the population of a city is 20,000 in the year 1997. It is increased at a rate of 5% per annually. Find the population at the end of the year 2000. So, every year the value of the population is increasing by 10%, uh, by 5%. So, let's calculate the value. That is, in the year 1997, it was 20,000. In the year 1998, it will be the 5% of 20,000, it will be 1,000. So 8 is 1,000, and 20,000, it will be 21,000. Next, the 21,000, you take the 5% of 21,000, it will be 1,050. You add this to the 21,000, it will be 22,050 in 1999. In the next year, 2000. Uh, 22,050 you take the 5% of this 5% of 22,050 it will be 1,102 you add this with the 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 previous population that is 22,050 it will be 23,152.5 or 52 53,153 so so the answer will be 53,000 153 so with this the video has come to an end i hope you all like the video i'll be completing the question paper and of the ld exam for treasures and accounts and it will be very helpful for your coming examination so with this the video has come to an end i hope you all like the video thank you all for watching